Theorem 10.3 The perpendicular from the center to a chord bisects the chord. So this is given to us that we have a perpendicular to the, from the center to the chord. This we need to prove that it bisects the chord we need to prove. So given circle with center say O and we need a chord so we draw a chord say AB AB is chord what they said a perpendicular from the center we need to drop a perpendicular from the center so from O I drop a perpendicular I mark it as M so OM is perpendicular to AB what I need to prove is the second half it bisects the chord so to prove that OM the perpendicular bisects the chord bisects AB means I have to show MA equal to MB this is my question to show it bisects these two are equal so we'll first join and have triangles now it is perpendicular so I'm marking here 90 degrees because OM is perpendicular so we'll take up the proof here we take triangle AOM and triangle BOM we know one angle is 90 these angles are 90 because OM is perpendicular so let's write that so angle OMA equal to angle OMB equal to 90 and the reason OM perpendicular to AB it's given then we have a common we have OB common OM common OM equal to OM and that is common and here we have OA equal to OB radii of the same circle so we have OA equal to AB OB radii of same circle therefore I can say the triangles are congruent triangle AOM is congruent to triangle BOM and that would be by RHS if they are equal, I will say AM equal to BM by CPCT. This is AM. This AM will be equal to BM by CPCT. Let me go over this again. So I have a circle. And in this circle, I have a center. Every circle has to have a center. So the center is O and then we have a chord say this is the chord AB this is given to us and there's a perpendicular drop from the center so OM is a perpendicular drop from the center so this is 90 and 90 my question is to prove that these two are equal to prove MA equal to MB so I join OA and OB and I show these two triangles are congruent first thing is this is 90 so I have these angles I have angle OMA equal to angle OMB 90 because OM is perpendicular then we have two radii this is radius and this is also radius so OA equal to OB because they are radius and here we have common we have OM equal to OM because it is common so the triangles are congruent by RHS triangle OMA congruent to triangle OMB by RHS if the triangles are congruent all their sides must be equal so by CPCT now I can say these two are equal I can write MA 
equal to MB by CP C T. Theorem 10.4 A line drawn from the center of the circle to bisect the chord is perpendicular. Now the meaning of this is if you have a circle, the circle has a center and then you have a chord. And now you draw a line from the center of the circle to bisect the chord. Means you need the midpoint of this chord. This is midpoint of the chord M. And you join this line now. The line you join it from center to midpoint. To bi it bisects the chord. We need to prove that it is perpendicular. We need this is our question. We need to show these two angles are 90. So what we do is join. We show the two triangles are congruent. How do we show the triangles are congruent? Here radius and this is another radius equal. This also is equal. We have this are equal and here is common. So the two triangles are congruent by SSS test. Triangle, say I put say AB here. So I have triangle CAM congruent to CBM by SSS test. If they are equal, so I can now show that these two angles are X and X. So x equal to x by CPCT, but x plus x equal to 180. So x will be 90. This is how we are going to go about the proof. Let me just repeat it again. We will show the two triangles are congruent. These two are equal because they are radius. This is given because m was the midpoint and here it is common. So by s, 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 s test the triangles are congruent. And hence I can say these two angles are equal x and x by CPCT. So but x plus x equal to 180. So x is 90. Therefore we have here 90, 90. We have proved it is perpendicular. So we will say given circle with center O and radius R. AB is a chord and a chord with midpoint M. So we need to prove in this that AM, we need to prove these two are equal. This is our question. We need to prove AM equal to BM. So first we'll take the two triangles. We'll take triangle OAM and triangle OBM. Let's mark these triangles. So here we have one triangle and we take the other triangle. Now we need to prove these triangles are congruent. So first we'll say OA equal to OB radius. Then MA equal to MB, this is given because M is the midpoint. Here M is the midpoint. So we have MA equal to MB. Reason M is midpoint. And we have O, OM common. OM equal to OM and that is common. So triangle OAM congruent to triangle OBM by SSS test. If they are equal, now I can say these two angles are equal by CPCT, these two angles. That is angle OMA equal to angle OMB equal to CX by CPCT. But these angles they make a linear pair. Angle OMA plus angle OMB equal to 180 linear pair. 
So x plus x equal to 180. 2x equal to 180. So x equal to 180 over 2 equal to 90. So the angles are 90. So angle OMA equal to angle OMB equal to 90. And we have proved. See, we have to prove here is perpendicular. So we have proved that the angles are 90. Given an arc, complete the circle. Now remember to complete, to draw a circle, we require two things. We require center and radius. Once we have a center and radius, we can draw a circle. So here we are just given an arc. So here's an arc PQ and we need to draw the circle, complete the circle. So what we do first, take any point here, say A. And I will join the A. So first we'll say, take a point A on the arc. Second, join PA. Then I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector of PA. Third, draw perpendicular bisector of PA. Now how do I draw perpendicular bisector of PA? First I keep my uh, radius at uh, P and I draw two arcs, one on the top here and one below. Then I keep at A and again draw, cut the previous arc here and then I will join, join it up. So this becomes a perpendicular bisector and mark it as L. So perpendicular and I'll mark it as L. Now next you take say Q and A now. Second part. Join Q A. And here also this is the put four. Again draw, uh, draw perpendicular bisector. Draw perpendicular bisector of QA. So keep the again at Q you will draw one uh, you join this up then you will draw one arc here and one arc here. Keep at Q cut the previous arc and then you will join this. I will mark this as Q. So say Q. Then see where is the point of intersection of, say O is point of intersection. Of L and Q. So here is a point of intersection. This becomes a center of L and Q. So O is center of the circle. If O is the center of the circle, and this is o, o, P will be the radius. So with O as center and O, P as radius, then you complete your circle. So this will be, com you complete your circle with O as center and O, P as a radius. Let me try to explain to you the concept behind the sum. So we have P and Q. Then you took another point in the middle here. Say you call this A. And then you join PA. After you join PA, you drew the perpendicular bisector of PA. Okay. And then 
you joined AQ and you drew the perpendicular bisector of AQ. This was the center of the circle. Now why? Now, if here you drew the perpendicular bisector, this was L was a perpendicular bisector. Now if L is a perpendicular bisector, O is on the perpendicular bisector. So OP is equal to OA. And when you drew this perpendicular bisector, yeah, say this was Q. Now you had OA equal to OQ. So all the ones in the red, that is OP, OA, OQ, they are all equal. OP equal to OA equal to OQ. And they are the radius. O is the center. Then you can complete your circle. This is the center here and you have your radius and then you complete your circle with the center and the radius. Different pairs of circles, how many points does each pair have in common? In the first pair you see the circles do not intersect. They have a center here, this is the center of the circle but they do not intersect. Circles do not intersect and because they do not intersect there is no point that is common. No common point. In the second figure you see they intersect at one point. So they have intersect at one point. So one point common or one common point. And in the third you can see we have two common points. So the maximum points will be 2. Now could they have 3 common points? Now if circles have 3 common points, we have 3 common points, they will be, it will be 1 in the same circle. So circles cannot have 3 common points. If they have 3 common points, anything more than 2, it is 1 in the same circle. So if they have three common points, two circles have three common points, it becomes the same circle. The circle they coincide over one another. Suppose you are given a circle, give a construction to find its center. So here we have a circle and we need to find its center. To find its center, first we will draw a chord of a circle. So we, to draw a chord, we take two points. So we will take P and we will take another point Q. And we join this. And we will draw the perpendicular bisector of PQ. So first, take chord PQ. And second, draw perpendicular bisector. Of PQ. So to draw perpendicular bisector, I keep my uh, pointer or my compass on P, and I draw one arc up and one arc down, and then keep it Q and cut the previous arc. So this will be the perpendicular bisector of PQ. We'll call it as L. Similarly, take another two points, say here AB. So we'll have another chord. So third, take chord AB. 
and here also draw perpendicular bisector of a b so keep your compass at a draw an arc up and draw an arc down at b draw an arc and then you join this we'll call this as m now the points where fifth intersection intersection of l and m is center of circle and here the intersection of l and m is o here and o is the center of the circle so this is how you get the center of the circle let me just go over how will you draw a perpendicular bisector of any point suppose you have here lm and you want to draw a perpendicular bisector you keep first your compass at l take a convenient radius draw two arcs one up and one down then keep your compass at m take the same radius and cut the previous arc then you join both these points this red line is your perpendicular bisector so this is how you draw your perpendicular bisectors of any line segment now we'll get, get into the verification so you had first one chord you do ab and of ab you drew perpendicular bisector here this was the perpendicular bisector and you joined it now this O lies on the perpendicular bisector. Any point that lies on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant. So we have OB equal to OA. So we write this down. We write LM is perpendicular bisector of AB. O lies on the perpendicular bisector. So we can say OA equal to OB. That's a property of the perpendicular bisector. Then we take BC and we draw perpendicular bisector of BC also. So we have from B, we one arc up, one arc down, then we cut the previous arc and then we join these two points here. So this is the perpendicular bisector, PQ is the perpendicular bisector of BC. So we say PQ is perpendicular bisector of BC. And we know O lies on perpendicular bisector. If O lies on perpendicular bisector, which means OB will be equal to OC. So OB. equal to OC because any point of the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from both the endpoints. So now we have here on 1 and 2 we have OA equal to OB equal to OC. So thus we can say this must be the radii OA, OB, OC will be the radii of a circle. Radii of circle because they are all equal. And O is center of the circle. Here we have all these equal. And O will be the center of the circle. If two circles intersect at two points, prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisectors of the common chord. So we have here two circles. This is one circle. And we have the other circle with center O dash. They intersect at two points, that is A and B. AB is a common chord. We need to prove that the centers of the circle. In this case, we see that the centers of the circle is O and O dash. 
and this is the line joining the center. This center of the circle is the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So this is the line segment joining the two centers. We have to show it is a perpendicular bisector of the common chord AV. AV is a common chord. We have to show O O dash is perpendicular bisector of AV. So we start given, we are given two intersecting circles. And we name one circle as C, center O, radius R, other circle C dash, center O dash, radius R dash. Intersecting at AB. Now we need to prove that the, that the line segment joining their centers. It means the line segment joining their centers is O O dash. O O dash is perpendicular bisector of the common chord and the common chord here is AB. So we have to show it is a perpendicular bisector of AB. This sum is done in two parts. In the first part we are going to take these two triangles A O O dash and B O O dash and prove that they are congruent. So we take part 1. So we take triangle A O O dash and the triangle B O O dash and prove that they are congruent. To prove they are congruent we know O A is equal to O B. Look up and see where is OA is equal to AOB because they are the radius. Next you will find that O dash A here will be equal to O dash B. Here O dash A will be equal to O dash B. Again because they are radius. O dash A equal to O dash B same radius. And we have here common. O O dash is common. O O dash equal to O O dash. It is common. So the triangles are congruent. Triangle A O O dash congruent to triangle B O O dash by S S S test. This is one part. Now if they are congruent, I can say these two angles are equal here by CP, CT. So I can say angle A O O dash is equal to angle B O O dash by CP, CT. So A O O dash equal to B O O dash by CP, CT. This is one part. Let's get on to the next part. For the second part, we are going to take the triangle AOM and OMB, these two triangles. So we'll say in triangle AOM and in triangle BOM and prove they are congruent. We have earlier already proved that these two angles are equal by CP, CT. So we showed angle AOM is equal to angle BOM by CP, CT. We also know that these two are equal because the radius OA equal to OB. So OA equal to OB radius and we have common, we have OM is common, OM equal to OM, equal to OM and it is common. So the triangles are congruent by SAS, so triangle AOM congruent to triangle BOM by SAS test. 
So if they are equal, we'll get onto the CPCT. We'll have this is CPCT. This is CPCT. So I can say AM equal to MB by CPCT, which means if AM equal to MB by CPCT, we can say OO dash is a bisector. That means we have M is a midpoint. M will be the midpoint. And uh, O O dash is bisector. It bisects bisector of A B. We have to show it is perpendicular. We have shown these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, we these these two angles will be equal. Which are these angles? A o, M O and B M O are congruent by C P C T. So we get angle AMO equal to angle BMO equal to XA CPCT. But these both these angles form a linear pair. AMO plus angle BMO equal to 180 because they form a linear pair. So X plus X equal to 180. 2X is 180 and X is 90. That means angle AMO equal to angle BMO equal to 90. So this was 90 and this was 90. So here we have proved that OO dash is perpendicular bisector. First we proved these two are equal which means now that OO dash bisects AB. So we can say OO dash bisects AB. And now we have proved these angles are 90. This angle is 90 and this angle also is 90 here. 90 and 90. So now we can say that OO dash is perpendicular to AB. So it becomes perpendicular bisector. So OO dash is perpendicular bisector of a b let's go over the sum again in the first step we took these triangles here this triangle a o o dash and b o o dash and prove that they're congruent and how did we prove that they're congruent here we had this this side equal to this side radii so then o dash a equal to O dash B radius and this was common. So by SSS these two triangles were congruent. After we proved the congruent we said these two angles are equal by CP CT. Then in the next step we've taken triangle OAM and then triangle OBM and proved that they are congruent. This again this S was equal to this S, OA equal to OB because they were radius of the same circle. Then these two angles were CPCT here and then we had the common side. So by SAS test the triangles were congruent S, A, S. So if they are congruent now I can say AM equal to MB by CPCT. So we did AM equal to MB by CPCT. Therefore OO dash we can say bisects AB. And then the next we prove these two are equal by CPCT and they, so this angle is X and X. So we had 2X equal to 180 and X equal to 90. So then we had OO dash perpendicular to AB because here angles were 90. So OO dash, so OO dash was a perpendicular bisector of AB. AB was a common chord. OO dash divided AB into two equal parts this equal to this by CPCT and then we show that this angle here was 90. 
So it was a perpendicular bisector.